situation. Um, uh, not too sure. As you said, the gold count is at 8k or 7k. Um, it's, uh, it's kills are nine to one. It, it's just it's hard to do much at this point. Yeah. See Thresh just counter panking, getting that vision, making sure to just lock the enemy team down, not give them a chance to kind of get back in this game. Yeah, and we see Lee Sin just as soon as he sees someone, he's gonna dive onto them. Um, he's fairly confident. He's fairly strong right now, um, and his his escape kit is pretty good too. So he's not too afraid to to risk getting two v one. No, no, not at all. You usually you might see Lee Sin pick up the at uh, Oh, they might go on Renekton under this tower. There's no one else here. No one else on purple side here. Um, Ez uses Flash and just picks it up with that Q at the end. The blue buff on Ezreal with the spirit of the uh, Elder Lizard just gives them so much cooldown. And we see Kennen's um, catching Caitlyn in her jungle. Um, and Kennen right now is just far ahead with those two kills. Um, manages to take Caitlyn out pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, that Caitlyn, that, exactly, and the only reason that happened, the only reason that kill happened is because Thresh placed that pink ward at their blue, knocked out the entire vision of the enemy team's jungle, and you can see, look at the dominance in the wards. Blue team is completely warded inside the purple team's jungle. They have one mid, one in the, one on their wolves, or two around their wolves, and then one on their blue. They have complete vision of the dominant side. Red buff is nice, but blue buff is sometimes necessary for a team to come back. Yeah. So we're about 15 minutes into this game. There's about an 8k gold lead for blue side here. I believe that's the friendship squad that is in the lead against uh, tower divers. Um, yeah, Dragon's gonna come up right away. Dragon actually just came up. Uh, so uh, yeah, I was slain at 914. Dragon just came up at uh, 1514. So you could see them probably, yeah, Thresh just warded Dragon, making sure uh, to clear out some wards. He might drop a pink in there just to be careful. Uh, but they're going to try and pick up this dragon. Extra 150 gold for everyone on the team. And yeah, they go yeah. for it right now. They know they have the chance. Yeah, uh, Thresh just pinks it just to be safe. Um, I don't think they're too scared, even if they did have to contest it. But they're just going to take it for free here. Yeah. Kennen showing some presence in the jungle. And leaves him back up top. Just going to push that out a little bit. Yeah, they have complete um, dominance over the entire map. Purple team is scared right now to leave anywhere. Yeah, you see them traveling around in that pack. Um, yeah. They don't want to get caught out again. They see what happens when one of them gets caught out. It's just a no contest kill. Yeah, it's a massacre um, at that point. But they they have to do something. They can't just sit back right now. Um, blue team's going to be able to split push. Could be able to siege a tower if they wanted to right now. Yeah, Lee um, Sin's ahead right now. He's 3-1-1 one, one with a Black Reaver, two Dorans, and uh, armor boots. He can push the entire lane by himself, and it's going to be so hard for anyone to 1v1 him that he's just going to be super comfortable by himself up there, letting the four others push. Yeah. So we see Ren Renekton going up to Lee Sin to kind of contest that tower. Um, he's going to have to run away. I don't know if he'll get away. Lee Sin's not really too interested in chasing him down, so... No. Um, we see Nunu and Jarvan coming up top too, so that's going to give a lot of freedom for the rest of Blue's side to push down this mid tower if they yeah. can. Yeah, Rennington's trying to clear that top lane, and what Blue's going to do right now, wait till that wave that's coming in right now, wait till that comes in. Lee's going to try and pull him away from that mid tower, yeah. and Blue's just going to get this free mid tower. Uh, Rennington's up top, and they can't fight 4v4. There goes uh, the Sedge engage, the cannon the engage, cannon slash and everyone. Uh, and it's just blowing up. Yeah. Um, the Ignite gets that kill on Jarvan there. They're going to take this mid-tower. Um, that was just a great engage. Uh, There's a lot of communication. You could see they just knew when to go in. Yeah, knew exactly what to do and when to do it. Yeah. You see the GGs coming out. Uh, well, at least I do. I'm not sure what screen you guys are seeing. But you do see the GGs coming out from the purple side. They knew that was it. They knew that was their last chance. It was a. It was a, It was what the purple team had to do. They had to engage under their own tower to get some sort of chance. Yeah. And the blue team's comp, as we said at the beginning, with the Sedge Alt, the Cannon Alt, and the Thresh Alt, yeah. just knocks everyone down. The Lee Sin coming in and the Ebs coming down, just ripping apart the other team. Yeah. Yeah. So we see the blue team just gonna back by. Um, right now they can just do whatever they want. They could try to siege uh, top or bot. They could go for Baron. Um, 
really the game's in their hand. It's theirs to throw away. Um, we see uh, Purple Side still traveling around in the pack in their jungle there. Um, still very afraid of, of catches. Um, yeah, they're, if one of them gets caught out, it's it's pretty much game over. Yeah. They they said the GGs, but they're still playing. They have this minute and a half until 20 minutes, which I would assume a surrender would occur. Uh, but until then, why not give it their best shot and try and do what they can do? Right. We see Jarvan just trying to get those golems, trying to get that farm. Um, still traveling around in that five. <clears throat> we see blue side pinging down bot. Uh, they see that there's a big wave going down. I feel they're going to go for Baron as soon as they see someone try to defend. Um, so as soon as they get vision of Renit Tim down there, they're just going to try to get that yeah. Baron. And they see it right now. Those minions spot him, and they're just going to go for this Baron. Uh, there's no vision. Red team has no vision. Uh, they're just going to go right for this Baron, take it for free, no contest at all, and then go for a mid push. Uh, and that, that should be game. There's 30 seconds until surrender. I would assume the surrender would occur, but you never know in these tournaments. Yeah. They might want to try to fight back. Um, like we said, they got Baron for free. Um, they're probably just going to push up top. Um, we see purple team recalling. Probably going to try to buy whatever they can for this last, possibly last team fight. Yeah, you might see you pick a couple of them pick up that red elixir. Uh, but I would assume that it would just be... Uh, I would assume it would just be a uh, game over here in six seconds. Yeah, we see Kennen finding Caitlyn, chasing a little bit, but not too hard. You just see the damage coming out on the support. Lee Sin just knocking out the support, zoning everyone out. Yeah, we see Kennen and Lee Sin just not worrying that they're between two towers. Not, no, not, not at all. Afraid. There's an four people attacking them. Yeah, there's four people attacking them, and they just they don't care. You might see Lee Sin go in here and pick up this double kill if he was to land a Q, but... Yeah. And we see up top there, um, Easy, Thresh, and Sidrania just pushing that top lane. Um, they're not too worried about it. They might just go for the... Oh, Thresh gets a grab on Orianna. Thresh, yeah, Thresh lands a hook, Orianna. Sedge comes in. It's just... It, it's, it's, there's nothing that the red team can do. Lena, uh, Kennen and Lee taking out that bottom, second tier bottom tower. Uh, instead, just j literally just farming in their base. Yeah. There's there's not much they can do at this point. The surrender's not coming out. Uh, kind of just tournament etiquette, I would assume. Letting the blue team win. Yeah. Not letting them win, but uh, <laughs> kind of just doing what they can. Yeah. Never really want to give up because one mistake could cost a game, but it'd be it'd be quite the challenge to come back from this. So it looks like they're gonna go up top and tank this top turret, or just push that lane in a bit so they can get that top turret down. Um, but yeah, purple side is really just trying to defend, trying to clear creep waves, but I think they feel that as soon as they get engaged upon, it's it's GG. Yeah, yeah, they're kind of just waiting. The time to engage would be now, and that's when that's when and the other team engage. It's yeah. just it's a massacre. You can't really you can't do much. Yeah. Cannon taking down that triple kill at the end might grab that Nunu. Oh yeah, grabs Orianna, sorry. And that's an ace. For blue team, they're gonna grab this inhibitor, go take out the last two uh, Nexus turrets. Oh, and there goes the surrender. All right, and that was... That was a great game, honestly, uh, by blue team. Um, Tower Divers was on purple, so it was the other team that one, yeah. and that is uh, Friendship, Friendship Squad. Squad. So Friendship Squad coming out with a huge win over Tower Divers. Yeah, uh, the power of friendship just, <laughs> just so much better than the power of aggression with those Tower Dives. <laughs> they didn't, they didn't get many Tower Dives. Is uh, okay. is the question? Uh, so, <laughs> um, so yeah, it was a great game. Uh, 22 minute game, final score is 20 to 1. Yeah. So, uh, great game. My name was Keswick. I'm um, Kajikal, and we'll be back with the next game. Perfect. Thanks, guys.
Stay.